What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. All right, everybody. I'm back once again. Thank you for your view. Today we're going to talk about something. But first, I'm going to get good luck in here. Because I'm asking him this, and he's asking me this. Now, he wants to know, and I want to know, by the way, Nigeria was once communist too, so maybe we can talk about this. We're going to talk today about how black people are the ultimate hypocrites because they are, bing, yes they are, they're commies, buddy. Let me explain to you how they're communists. Well, first of all, it's, it's they're, they're, first of all, they're ultimate hypocrites. They're ultimate hypocrites, and then I got proof to back what I'm saying. A majority of black people are, are McCarthyist and communist. Now, if you know McCarthyism, you know that doesn't go along with communism. You know that for a fact. But these hypocrites, they get away with it. Here's how they do it. They'll tell you that, um, uh, say you're not doing anything that's black or something that's for the community. They'll, they'll make accusations of subversion or you're doing some type of treason. Well, I mean, and they don't really look it up. They'll say, oh, you're doing something that doesn't affect, that uh, has a negative effect on the black community. Yada, 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 this, that, and the fifth. But at the same time, if you are an entertainer, athlete, or somebody with a lot of influence, i.e. money, in the black community, they want you to finance their little pet projects. Now, this is the problem I have with this. And then, like I said, I'm not going to go... It's not everybody in the black community. Please find out what a rhetorical comment is. Because, like I said, do your own research. Because I'm done teaching a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff you should know by now. If you don't, whose fault is that? It's not mine. But yes, I'm saying, if you look up McCarthyism, that was back in the days of 40s and 50s where uh, McCarthy went around, Senator McCarthy went around, and if you were a communist, you were in bad. They were just looking up for. They were hunting commies, and it affected your life and your and your and your your livelihood, really. And communism, as we know, you got to do everything. Everything benefits the state. Everything benefits the quote unquote the people. But black people have found a way to tap into both things that have nothing to do with each other, that are on opposite ends of the spectrum, and use that as a linchpin. Where the hearts and minds of the people. They use the they use their own version of McCarthyism. Where, well, that's not for the like. And I use, I use an example where Jesse Jackson and uh, Doctor Boyce Watkins stopped Tyler Creators and Little Wayne's money. We all know they did, but at the same time, they want to say, well, uh, well, maybe once you get some money, we can show you how better ways how to disperse your money within the black community. So now, you won't be a McCarthyist, but at the same time, you're going to be a communist. And this is why the black community is in a limbo. They don't know what we, we they don't know what they want to be, want to be with anyway. You want to be a McCarthyist, and you want to be a communist. You got to pick one or the other. McCarthyism has nothing to do with communism. In, in, in broad daylight, you want to call people out for doing X, Y, Z. And then under the cover of darkness, you've been doing X, Y, Z for a minute now. And this is the thing I can't stand because they want to, they want to, they want to tell you what you have to do to do to benefit the community, but at the same time, they don't mind taking checks from you that'll benefit the community. And all I'm saying is that the black people are the ultimate hypocrites. They're, 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 they're McCarthyists. Look! Look! Look at uh, when when um, Jay Z had his deal with Rock Nation. When Dre had his deal with Apple. When Fifty had his deal. Look when a lot of these guys had their deal. You had people telling other. You had people saying, "Well, this is how they should spend their money. They should spend the money on X, Y, Z." And I was like, "Number one, that's their fucking money. How can you tell somebody else how to spend their money?" Like, I'd be like me telling you to spend how to spend your money. You're like, and half the people that were telling these dudes how to spend their money, they're not donating anywhere. When's the last time you seen somebody that, and most of them, 
don't have two nickels to rub together, but want to tell you how to spend your money. Ask them to get two nickels and then donate a nickel and see what they'll do it. But at the end of the proverbial day, this is what you have to encounter. You have to encounter the... the they're, they're like... The, how can I say this? They're like law. They're like lawyers, like you know, with the toupee, with the comb over, a bad toupee, and a bad, a, a bad polyester suit, thinking they're gonna slick you over, and then you end up losing the case. It's uh, this. It's just. It's just comedy nowadays with these, with this group. Like I said, you want to be a McCarthyist, but at the same time, you want to be a communist. All right, I'm out of here because this, this is getting disgusting. Just thinking about how they want to be like this. Learn what McCarthyism is and learn what communist is, communism is, and you know they can't relate to anything to each other. So I'm out. Peace.